Taon the first of the month, our Hakal ne, the department manager for public health and safety of Subic Bay Metropolitan Authority, to render the welcome remarks. Please give a big round of applause. So thank you. Uh, if you allow me, dito na lang po ako ha. So uh, I'd like to uh, welcome each and everyone and uh, would like to thank everybody who is uh, here this afternoon to uh, attend this uh, particular seminar on uh, drug abuse prevention and awareness at the workplace. So, uh, alam naman natin, we all know that uh, doon sa Republic Act 9165, which is the Comprehensive uh, Drugs Act of 2002, uh, there's already a guidelines for uh, drug prevention. Ang pinapalakpakan ng turista. So tama si Spider-Man. A great power comes a great responsibility. Sino dito ang gusto umamin na siya ay mapute? Wala pong kwenta yan. Tanong niya akong bakit magagamit ka pa rin ng flashlight sa dilim. Bakit magagamit mo ba yung kaputian mo pag nasa dilim ka? Hindi, gagamit ka pa rin ng liwanag. Sino po dito ang may motor at sasakyan? Wala pong kwenta yan. Maglalakad ka pa rin papunta sa higaan mo. Right? Sino dito ang matapang at malusog? Walang kwenta yan. Pag namatay ka, may maghahatid pa rin sa'yo sa sementeryo. Kaya wag kang mayabang. Ilan ang letter ng love? Apat. Ilan ang letter ng hate? Apat. So why should you hate the person beside you when you can express the love to him or her? Kaya sabihin mo sa katabi mo, mahal na kita. So, no. Thank you. Ilan ang letter ng friends? Ilan ang letter ng friends? Pito. Ilan ang letter ng enemies? Pito. So bakit ka magkakaroon ng maraming kaaway kung kaya mo namang magkaroon ng maraming kaibigan? Kaya sabihin mo sa katabi mo, peace na tayo. Peace na tayo. Ilan ang letter ng give? Apat. Ilan ang letter ng take? Apat, hindi pwedeng give ng give ka, mauubusan ka. Hindi pwedeng take ng take ka, wala kang paglagyan ng mga bago. When you give, you take. When you take, you give. That's the balance of life. Sino ang gumising sa inyo kanina? Nag-alarm clock kayo? Hindi alarm clock ang gumising sa inyo. Tanya niya kung bakit. Ilagay mo ngayon alarm clock mo sa tabi ng patay? Tingnan mo kung magigising ang patay. It's not the alarm clock that says, wake me up today. It is the grace of God. Kasi tingnan mo yung katabi mo. Hindi man yan perfecto, but his or her imperfections are very much perfect for his or her purpose. Kaya sabihin mo sa katabi mo, salamat at nandito ka. Oh, ano, ano, salamat at nandito ka. Now, tingnan ang katabi kung mukhang minalas ka ng pagpili ng upo. Check mo mukhang minalas ng katabi mo. Now, tingnan yung katabi kung mukhang sinwerte ka naman ng pagpili ng upo. Now, I mentioned two terms. Believe me, this is a holy hour. All right, and, and it is a crime for me as a speaker for you to take a nap. So I really have to provoke your thoughts. And the ay pareho lang. So lahat walang kamay. Thank you so much. Now, taas na kamay ang my Facebook account or social media. I have one little favor to ask from you. Whatever it is that will inspire you from my talk, can we upload that one so that we would be able to put in positive energies to social media ngayon? Would that be fine? Alright, allow me to process and answer the question. Ang malas at swerte po ay pareho lang. Tanin niya kung bakit. Yung iba, alam na kung bakit, kayo na lang ang speaker. Huwag po kayo maliyang magtanong because a little learning is dangerous. Tanin niya po ulit ako kung bakit. Thank you so much, now you're talking. Alright. Ang malas at swerte sa unang dinig, ang akala natin ay magkaiba. But when you try to ingest and digest it, you will realize ang malas at swerte ay pareho lang. Luck and misfortune are both products of chance. And the meaning of chance is the possibility of something happening. Pag sinabi mong possibility, hindi pa nangyayari, mangyayari pa lang. Tanong, sino ang gumagawa ng chance? Ikaw. Pag minalas ka, pagagawan mo. Pag sinwerte ka, pagagawan mo rin. Allow me to justify my answer by asking yung question, taas ng kamay, mga pinanganak na mahirap. Oh, ang daming mayaman. I was so surprised. Grabe, <laughs> wala akong mahirap dito. May factory ng sire. I'm so surprised. Dapat pala tinaasa namin yung registration fee. Okay? I came from there. I know how it feels. No exaggeration. Ang nanay ko po ay labandera at ang tatay ko ay mangingisda. I have two things to remind everybody. Kapag pinanganak ang mahirap, hindi mo kasalanan. Hindi ka pwedeng pumili ng magulang mo. If I have my way to choose my parents, I could have chosen Henry C. Para ako na ang may-ari ng kapital ng Pilipinas ngayon. Yes, binago ka na. Hindi na Manila ang kapital ng Pilipinas ngayon. SM na. Karang nga kung bakit. Look at the tagline. We've got it all for you. Pero di tayo pwedeng pumili ng magulang. Am I correct? Pero kapag namatay kang mahirap, kasalanan mo. Kasi hindi ka gumawa ng dissenting paraan para mababa.
ako yung kwento ng buhay mo. Yes. And since lahat kayo nag-agree, sabihin mo sa katabi mo, hindi ka man mukhang matalino. <laughs> sa katabi mo, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> hindi ka man mukhang matalino, pero pakihabol po, mukha ka namang madiskarte. Uh, maraming matalino ngayon, walang trabaho. Maarte, mapili, gusto manager agad. Pero tingnan mo yung katabi mo, di naman ganun katalinuhan ha, pero may trabaho. That means, do not get me wrong. I did not say you don't need intelligence, I said it's not enough. Palalalimin ka yung discussion. May limang pusang itim. Yung isa nag-decide na umalis. Ilan pa ang natira? Wow, ang talino na. Lima, correct. Bakit? Look at the keyword, decide. Your decision is different than your action. May pangarap pa, wala kang ginagawa. In the end, nga pa. The greatest mathematical formula of success is not just believing you can, but doing what you can so that you will be able to achieve what you can. Yes. Believing plus doing is equal to having. Gets po? Now, tingnan ang katabi, kumukhang iniwala na ng asawa. Check na dyan. Now, tingnan ang katabi, kumukhang in love pa rin sa asawa. Now, tingnan ang katabi, kumukhang atat na atat na kasi hanggang ngayon wala pa rin asawa. At malapit ang mawala sa kalendaryo. Pero ang maganda, nasa loto ka pa rin. Now, gets po? Alright. Please, sa mga single, I have one thing to tell you. Huwag kayong magmadali. Tanong nga kung bakit. Empower your career. I believe once you have an empowered career, the love life will just on emotion. Loving is not. It is based on your decision. Ano ang kaibahan 28 years ago nang pinakasalan ng tatay mo yung nanay mo na siya ay sexy pa pero ngayon sumiksik na. Kung ang pag-ibig ay nalaramdam na lang, pag siksik na ang nanay mo, ang tatay mo maghahanap ng pamalit ng Coca-Cola but that is not unconditional love is. Because brace yourself this afternoon for a take home. Unconditional love is loving the imperfect person perfectly. Kapag nagbal ka, di mo sinasabi, pag ikaw ang naniligaligo, anong tawag sa'yo? First hand smoker, correct? Pag ako at naamoy mo, anong tawag sa'yo? Second hand smoker, correct? Pag ikaw ay dumaan sa naniligaligo, ang puso ko kumapit sa damit mo, pumasok ka dito ngayon, at naamoy na hindi naniligaligo, yung puso na kumapit sa damit mo, ang tawag sa nakaamoy ng puso na kumapit sa damit mo, third hand smoker. May baby ka, naniligaligo ka, binuhat mo yung baby mo, naamoy ng baby mo, yung puso na kumapit sa t-shirt mo, yung baby mo bata pa lang. Third hand smoker na. Sa mga nagbibake po, wala pong nikotin ang bake. But it's made of oil. And oil is dangerous to your lungs. Kaya hit it, come on. Okay, kuha pa. Uh, now, balikan ko lang po yung alak. Okay. Do you know Baron Geisler? Yeah, Baron Geisler is a very popular actor. He's not an illegal drug user. He is an alcoholic. And Baron Geisler, sabi niya recently, kung babibigyan siya ng chance na mag-advocate, maglalagay siya ng rehab for alcohol in the Philippines. Believe me, mas matagal ang rehab ng alcohol kesa sa illegal drugs. At hindi pa po kilala. And I don't know any facility in the Philippines that accept patients for rehab ng alcohol. Na gets po? And Baron Geisler, if you have noticed a year ago, nasa news, in he and after six months, nakipagbubugan sa kanyang brother-in-law. John Lloyd Cruz is also a binge drinker. Was also a binge drinker. Remember two years ago, an incident with Ann Curtis in one of the bars in Taguig. But ABS-CBN hey, knows how to handle their stars. But after six months, nag-upload ng kanyang video sa kanyang Instagram account having the attitude of a binge drinker. At hindi pa natapos yun after two months, nag-upload, I'm sorry for the term, ng kanyang tae sa kanyang Instagram account. But there's change. He quit, show this, and enjoy it. A simple life in the simple streets of Cebu. At alam niyo na siguro yun. Guess what? But Christopher De Leon is not an illegal, but Christopher De Leon is not a bitch drinker. He is an illegal drug user, Shabu. And his testimony was, na wala nang kaibigan, na wala nang projects, and the worst, may mga tao siyang nadidinig na naglalakad sa kanyang bubunga. Let me process. May kinalaman yung temporal lobe. Kung andito yung frontal, ito yung temporal. Now, pag na-apektuhan ng temporal, ano ang effect? Nasa katabi mo ang sagot. Tingnan ang katabi. Nakakadinig ba yan ng mga bagay na siya lang ang nakakadinig? May tama yan. Pag pinasok ng droga ang temporal lobe, ang epekto niyan ay auditory hallucination. Pag sinabi mo auditory na galing sa salitang audio, correct. Dapat nabibingi ka lang. Pero sa case na nagdadrugs, hindi sila nabibingi, nakakadinig sila ng kung ano-ano. I knew one rehab patient, nagmamadali. Kinukuha ang mga gamit niya sa bahay, yung dinig ng rehab patient may gera. But the truth is, nagpapatugtog lang ng malakas na radyo yung kapit-bahay niya. That's auditory hallucination. And very unfortunate incident, one year ago, nasa tabloid, napatay ng tatay niya yung anak niyang kumiiyak, hindi iyak ang dinig ng tatay niya, atake ng halima. Yung pinaka nakakatakot is a cervical lobe, eto yan. 
Tinuturo ko nga kasi para hindi lang ako nagsasalita. Eto, ugali. Kasama yung alak. Dito, wala na yung alak. Pero eto yung auditory hallucination. Eto, visual hallucination. Let's do the final test. Tingnan ang katabi kung nagbago ng anyo. Check lang po natin. Mabilis lang po. At tulungan nyo lang po ako. Now, pag nagbago ng anyo ang katabi mo, hindi ang katabi mo ang adik. Ikaw na tumili ng adik. Let me clarify lang one thing now. Pag ito, pinasok ng droga, ang epekto niyan, visual hallucination. Real talk tayo ha. Sa Jose del Monte, Bulacan, two years ago, five were murdered. And one from them was a 70-year-old lola na babog pinatay ni Ray muna. Tingin ang user sa lola, teenager. That was visual hallucination. Tatay ni Ray, sariling anak. Asawa, pinatay sariling asawa. Kabayo, baka kang din ni Ray. Tingin sa kabayo, Christine Reyes, for Christ's sake. Kailan pa naging kabayo si Christine Reyes? And two months ago, nasa tabloid. Sino ang ni Ray? My goodness, pusa ang ni Ray. Ano na lang reaction ng pusa habang ni Ray? Ngiyaw, ngiyaw, at marami pang ngiyaw? It goes to show ang paggamit ng droga, it's never been an issue of public safety. It's also an issue of public health. Pag nasugatan ka, nagihilong ba ang sugat mo? Yes. May tekla, pero nagihilong. That means that we regenerate ang bagong tissue. Pero kapag embrace us mo ang nadamage, the effect is irreversible. When you say irreversible, it starts with letter P. Permanent, correct. That means hindi na siya nag-regenerate ng bagong tissue and the purpose of rehab is not to cure the brain but just to prevent further damage. Magkaiba ang curable sa treatable. Cancer is curable. HIV and drug abuse are both treatable. Gio Mario, kilala. Magnifico, five years ago, wow, stellar performance. After three years, nakita natin sa news na mamali mo sa loob ng IA Terminal 3, begging for food, waiting for his biological Japanese father. And thank God, ay Idris Aras was there for a rescue. Binigyan ng chance. After a year and a half, napanood ko si Jiro Manny sa concert for the benefit ng mga in-rehab na walang pambayad. Medyo tumaba, pero wala nang tama. Para sa akin, okay lang na may fats, huwag lang may amats. Yeah, tingnan ang katabi kong may pats. Sabihin mo, okay lang yan. Huwag lang may amas. J.M. Digisman, kilala? J.M. Digisman, ang ex na Jesse Mangiola. Na ngayon ay girlfriend na ni Luis Manzano. Remember a thing called that Hannah? Three years ago with Angelica Panganiban? It was a surprise blockbuster hit that paved the way para bigyan siya ng starring roles sa All of Me. With Yen Santos now playing Jackie sa halik sa prime time bida na pinapanood niyo. So naubusan ako ng trivia, bahala na kayo mag-google. Okay, nabigay ko na lahat yung kaya ko. Anong nangyari kay JM? Laps and relapse. Kaya nawala sa kalagit na anong All of Me because of laps and relapse. Ano yung laps? Tumikim ulit. Kaya kapag ni-rehab ka, you don't have to go back to a place where inandun nang galing yung source ng pagdudroga. Nakuha ko ito because there is a tendency for you to try again. And that's relapse. Ini-rehab ka ulit pang apat na beses ni JM. At yung psychiatrist niya, hindi pumayag sa pang apat na beses na one year lang. Rehab will last for six months to one year. In the case of JM, kasi paulit-ulit na four times, two years, ang last rehab niya. And thank God, the writer and director of Aron Gabi, na natapos na five months ago sa kapamilya ko, gave him the chance to change. Gets po? That's love. Mark Anthony Fernandez, during the time of Gopins, was known to be a user. And after a year, he was caught carrying one kilo of marijuana sa Angeles, Pampanga. Nakulong pero nakawala ulit. Nakulong pero nakawala ulit. Yung pangalawang pagkakakulong, hindi yan legit sa probinsya ano po yan. Na lahat po kayo ay nanonood. Kasi lahat ng immortal na kadaban sa Channel 7, tinamaan ng bala patay. Si Carlo Dalisay, tinamaan ng bala hanggang ngayon buhay. At in the span of three years, alam niyo po ba, dalawang Miss Universe ang naabutan ni Carlo Dalisay. Si Pia at saka si Catriona, ang Burakay nagsara. Ngayon open na ulit ang probinsyano o Mary pa rin. At baka mamaya matatapos na yung termino ng presidente sa 2022, ang commercial ng probinsyano ang huling tatlong taon. Nag-gets nyo po, pero may nakatalo kay Carlo Dalisay. Lisa, ikan niyo ako kung sino? Juan Ponce Enrile. Si Juan Ponce Enrile lang po ang natatangin Pilipinong buhay na nakaabot ang apat na Miss Universe. Si Gloria Diaz, si Martin Moran, Pia, at Catriona. Kaya tama si Juan Ponce Enrile. Gusto ko, happy ka. Gets po? Pero hindi lahat ng gumamit ng drugs, maganda ang ending. My favorite singer of all time is Whitney Houston. And for me, she has the perfect pitch. And just a trivia, Whitney Houston started as a Christian singer, she's a member of a choir. But Whitney Houston fell in love with a cocaine user. 
And instead of leaving the husband, she joined her husband. In the issue of drug use, it's either you join or you leave. Kung wala ang droga sa buhay mo, ang kinabukasan mo ay sigurado. Yan po ang aming advocacy sa Drug Check Philippines. Follow us on our FB page. Okay? Thank you so much. That was just an introduction to my topic. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. If I hear a black offer, come on. In the Philippines, there are three most commonly abused drugs, and one of them is marijuana. Have you ever heard about five fingers? The five fingers po is three plain na marijuana. It was patterned after the five leaves of marijuana. Have you ever heard? Sa Kongreso, dalawang pagbasa, gustong gawin legal ang marijuana, the medical and compassionate version of marijuana. Have you ever heard about that? Kapag sumakit ang chan mo, naglaga ka ng marijuana, uminom ka nito, mawawala ang sakit. Pag di ka ginaganahan, mag-take ka ng marijuana, gaganahan ka na. Pag may epilepsy ka, you take marijuana, it can be an aid. Pag may cancer ka, it can form part of pain management medicine. That's why if you can remember, 2018, top five, Miss Universe 2018, Catriona Gray was asked, what can you say about the legalization of marijuana? And Catriona Gray answered, I hope I can really say that right. All right, I am for the use for medical use, but not so up for recreational use. Because I think if people are to argue, how about alcohol and cigarettes, where everything is good but in moderation? I have nothing against that. If the country wants it to be to become legal, wala pa okay po ako. If that is a medical breakthrough, then so be it. Ang problema ko lang po, sino ang magtatanim ng paginawa na tong legal? Sino ang magbibigay ng prescription? Valium is a tranquilizer. And people can have access to the tranquilizer though they don't have prescription. If they know a doctor and if they own a pharmacy, there should be a control. And this juncture, I'm saying no. That's my personal point of view. But if you want to smoke marijuana, yes, you can go to Canada. Kaya ganyan yung plan ng Canada. Hindi po yan marijuana. I like that. Okay, okay. Are you a fan of One Direction? I am. I love their songs. But four years ago, supposedly, mga concerts of Pinas, they were banned. CBCT reacted. One from the members of One Direction was caught smoking marijuana inside the train in Amsterdam in Netherlands. Marijuana is legal in Netherlands. In the U.S., you can buy cupcake, brownies. There are garnishing of marijuana. And the last few states in the U.S. that legalized the marijuana was the state of Colorado. And after a week of legalization, seven young men were overdosed, and all of them died. <laughs> and I really have to speak English because we have some friends here. He has all uh, his topic, and I think he was going to discuss at his farm, in his farm. So, medyo, baka natakot ako sa kanya, gising na gising kayo sa akin, baka antukin kayo kahit alas tres na rin. Ganun pa man ang Discussion yata ay drug abuse prevention and awareness. Sinabi na niya yung mga klase ng mga droga. Kung paano magkakaroon ng droga, epekto ng droga. Siguro si Dr. Hakalne, diniscuss na rin niya ang patungkol sa pag-iwas ng droga o yung mga palisya na napapaloob sa mga adituntunin dito sa preportion. Ang akin ay uh, siguro an advice just so because this is a law. We cannot just get out from it. Now, if we are not able to prevent and be aware of what it is, it will simply destroy 
tower play. Pag adelantado na yung mga iba dyan, either mali-mali ang gawa, kung hindi man mali-mali, laging wala. O kung hindi man laging wala, mahirap kausapin. O kung hindi man mahirap kausapin, meron siyang sariling mundo. Ano pa ang klase ng workplace na meron tayo kung ganyan ang mangyayari? So, actually, meron kang the possible prevalence of uh, industrial violence or many issues that will arise in the workplace. But I'd like to talk on five things that centers on the individual himself. So that if ever he becomes or is up to his life, he will be able he will be able to avoid these um, elements that would try to uh, destroy his family life his work life and his community life. What I'm actually saying is has long been said. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.